Hi there guys, so um, we're going to talk about necks, but again from an exercise perspective, um, a lot of you know me as the movement mentor on here and you're watching my videos, which is great, but uh, the other work that I do is as a Pilates teacher and one of the things that comes up really commonly with Pilates and any mat based exercise is if we're in a forward head posture and we're going to lift the head up to do exercise on the mat, a lot of people really struggle with that. Now, part of the problem is, is in Pilates, certainly, when we start to do that chin tuck before we roll the head and neck up, we want to stretch out that back of the neck so that we can get into that position. And if you're in a forward head posture all the time, chances are the back of your neck is really tight. And so when you go into that chin tuck and you're trying to stretch into those tissues, it sometimes can be really difficult to maintain that position over time. But that's not the only thing that gets in the way. So the other thing we're going to talk about is ribcage position. So I'm going to go down to the mat for that. So generally our basic starting position is knees bent and feet flat and arms just down at the sides. Now, in this instance, what I'm gonna do is put my thumbs at the rib cage, my fingertips down to the hip bones. And so if I was to lift my head up from the mat, I'm gonna do my chin tuck and I'm gonna roll up. What you might be able to see there is that my fingertips and thumbs got a little bit closer together. So if you just watch as I go down, that space opens up. I can now feel like I'm really stretching there. Now, when I come up, the rib cage is moving down again. And so if our rib cage is stuck in an upright position, uh, more upward position rather, and we're flaring at the ribs, then our abdominals are already on quite a bit of stretch. And so when we go to uh, activate them, it becomes a little bit difficult because we're starting from a point where things are not really the most optimum position. And so if you have trouble with your neck when you're in these positions, Practicing on your own time is great, but just working on tucking the chin and rolling up and trying to get the rib cage to slide down, because if we can get that rib and hip connection there, then the neck can relax a little bit. The other thing that I see is often people start into the lift and then tuck afterwards. And so what ends up happening is you're bypassing some of the deeper neck flexors and you're then using the superficial ones. And so it's really important to start the whole flexion from the earliest possible point, basically. So when you do your chin tuck, you're already starting to activate those flexors. And when you continue rolling up, everything's happening in a sequence. We're not trying to lift and put everything under pressure and then tuck afterwards. So super important, those two things, rib cage position and just making sure that you've got that chin tuck in place so that you can enjoy your mat work really comfortably. So I hope you enjoyed it. Again, hit like, subscribe and let me know what you'd like to hear about next.